tour date, Friday the 18th December, and we are just outside Ladysmith, in amongst the fruit farms, ready to head back to Cape Town. Being mean Scottish people, if you headed up the back roads, you could peek over the game reserve fence and see the wildlife for free. So, that's where we went. But first we were recommended, we headed for the Sui, the Sui, the sh, that pass there. Quite impressive. Another mountain pass. Tick! That's a nice waterfall. It's very windy here, so at times you can see the water beam. There we are, going off the waterfall. before there was a bit of a party at the guest house and we were invited to go and meet one of the neighbours. It's just up the farm track. Oh yeah. So the people from Largs, adjacent to Fairley on the Clyde, turned up at a party last night and met Nick Fairley. So that was a good enough excuse to have a beer and a cup of tea this morning. And then, armed with some local knowledge, we headed off back into the wilds, taking the back road to Montague. This might actually have been the back road to the back road to the back road to Montague. We're still beginners at this off-road lark and I went round this corner so slow we almost stopped. I mentioned in the last video that we had omitted to equip ourselves with a puncture repair kit and on this road we passed, I think, five cars in three and a half hours. It's not well travelled. So that was it, up to the top of the escarpment, round the last corner and then head off across the plain as far as the eye could see. Well, there's our road. Are we there yet? No, the road's as far as the eye can see. And about two hours later, we came down the other side into the glorious little town of we can't remember what it's called. Mm -hmm. 
so I've checked the map. It was Montague. Montague Main Street on a quiet Sunday morning. Nestled in the mountains. Ski slopes just over there. The church. And up the hill. And this is a new take on an Ibis Hotel. Back on the road next morning, we headed for Cape Town. We meant to take a back road, missed the turning and ended up on the main drag most of the way. But still saw the sights. And then time for some much needed sustenance. Must have been what, nearly an hour since we had breakfast. Somehow we found our way back off road and headed through farming country back towards the big city. And there's times I think that if Thomas Bain wasn't building the roads then I think the Romans must have had a part in it somewhere. And then once again we popped out into a little town, this one again a Dendal, bit of a one horse town really. And that's it, heading downhill into Cape Town. The lawn like stink here always does. Cape Town for Christmas, and look what I got. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Next trip, we head north.